let's take a look at some patterns to see how to deal with zero as an exponent and negative numbers as exponents. a to the zero, or any number raised to the zero power, is one. It's easy to see that when we look at patterns. Two to the fifth power is two times two times two times two times two, that's 32. Two to the fourth power is 16. And uh, two to the third power is eight. Two squared is four, and two to the first is two. Now let's step back a minute and look at the patterns. In the first column, the base two is the same. The exponent is decreasing by one. And so the next one logically would be two to the zero power. What's happening to the numbers that are in the answer column? Well, you might be able to see that each number is being divided by two to get the next number. 16 divided by two is eight. Eight divided by two, four. Four divided by two, two. So to follow this pattern, the next number, which would be two to the zero power, should be whatever two divided by two equals, which of course is one. There we go. So 2 to the 0 power is 1. And you can mm -hmm. make this argument for any base. It doesn't have to be 2. So we say that any number raised to the 0 power is 1, so that it will follow the pattern. Now let's continue the pattern and see what happens with the negative exponents. Once again, we want to say the next number should be whatever 1 is divided by 2. So the answer to 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half, which is the same as 1 divided by 2 to the first power. Now to get the next answer, it should be 1 half divided by 2. Well, we know that that's, we multiplied the, by the reciprocal. And that is 1 fourth. So that is 1 divided by 2 squared. Can you guess what the next one's going to be? going to be 1 divided by 2 cubed, which is 8. 1 divided by 2 cubed. So in general, any number raised to the negative power is the same as 1 divided by that same number raised to the positive power. Let's work through some problems to make sure we understand it. 3 to the negative 2 would be the same as 1 divided by 3 to the positive 2, or 1 ninth. Do you remember what 2 thirds to the 0 power is? Any number to the 0 power is 1. Let's look at the next one. Negative 8 raised to the negative 2 power would be 1 divided by negative 8 raised to the positive 2 power. Negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64. Look at the next problem. This time, the negative exponent is in the bottom, in the denominator. Well, what do you guess would happen then? Well, it goes up into the numerator and becomes 2 to the positive 3 power, or 8. You notice that the negative exponent has nothing to do with whether the answer is positive or negative. The negative exponent simply says to move the base to the other side of the fraction line. Here's some more. Negative 1 to the 0 power, 1. 5 to the negative 3 power raised to the negative 1. Don't forget the, the Rules you've learned. A power to the power means to multiply them. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. So this is really just 5 cubed. Let's do the same, apply some rules here. A negative 3 to the fifth times a negative 3 to the negative fifth. Do you remember to add the exponents? That would be 0. And anything to raise to the 0 power? 1.
Here, do you remember that the rule is to subtract the exponents? 6 to the negative 2 minus 2. Well, that's going to be 6 to the negative 4 power. Oh, remember what a negative exponent means. 1 divided by 6 to the positive 4 power. It's okay to leave it like that.